Right, well, a lot of people ask me, what do you do with your produce? I'm going to show you a very simple recipe that I've invented with no help from Jamie Oliver, Gordon Ramsay, or any other F ah, I won't swear, any other chef that you, you may care to mention. It involves an apple, a date, a piece of chocolate, maple syrup, and an oven. You can do this at home afterwards. Step one. What we need to do is to core the apple, take out the middle bit so we can shove these things into it. Now, I have a potato peeler, but I've lost it. So I'm going to have to use this. Bear with me. Oops, missed a bit there. Superb Granny Smith, by the way. Do you know where Granny Smiths originate? New South Wales. Who grew them? Mrs. Smith. Not a lot of people know that. Not even Gordon Ramsay. Or Jamie Oliver. Be careful when you shove the knife in because it can go through and kill you. Highly unlikely. Osh has got nothing to do with this video in New Zealand. Right. Now move all the detritus to the side. Step two, chop up the date. These are very expensive dates because Barbara bought them. I get the cheap ones from Pack and Save. Barbara's bought some expensive ones from Pack and Save. Right, I'm going to use two. Try and get the uh, pip out. Right. And Whittaker's from Patoni, New Zealand. Chocolate, dark chocolate. <coughs> right, shove two at the top. One, chocolate in the middle. I'm only going to use a bit of chocolate. Two dates at the, uh, we won't get personal. Right, put a bit of maple syrup in there. Shove it in there. This will be the best dessert you've ever tried. Trust me, as Jamie would say. Lovely. Right, now, oh, we need a case. Step three, put in oven. Switch the oven on. I should have done this before. Put it on 200, if you can go, well, why not max? And uh, put it on to fan bait. Job done, see you in 10 minutes. Now, as Keith Floyd, my hero of cooking, would say, the most scrupulous thing you've got to do is ensure that you time it correctly. So I've been looking at this clock, and it's now half past seven, as you can see, which means it's time to take the apple out of the oven. Henry, just move out. This is dangerous. I need to take the apple out of the oven. Oh, it's hot. Now, where's the chicken? The chicken is here. I'm going to use the chicken to get the apple out of the oven. Oh, they look perfect! As you can see, the uh, maple syrup and the juice has come out. They look, they look, uh, how can one describe them? Um, well, they look beautiful. Now, as Keith Floyd would also say, you need to find the drink to go with your meal. Now, as I mentioned, these are from New South Wales, so what better to go with a can of Foster's? Which, as you know, is from Victoria. Queen Victoria. St. Victoria. Well, the proof of any pudding, as everybody can tell you, is in the eating. Isn't it, Harriet? Ah! So after a hard day's graft on the nut farm, growing the fruit and the nuts, what better to have... Oh! A scrumptious dessert! This looks amazing! Jamie, eat your heart out. Oh, that's amazing. Cheers. <laughs>